Hello my friends, in today's video we are going to be creating some mock-ups together. So mock-ups are so important for your Etsy shop and if you are unfamiliar with what a mock-up is, it is essentially a way that you put your design onto a photo of like a blank product so that you can sell your design without actually having to print it and take photos of it. It's essentially just like a very easy way to put your design into real life or a real life photo. That way you can market it to your customers and realistic quality mock-ups are so so important and I preach this all the time on my channel. I have a video going over the entire process of creating mock-ups in Canva for free. So if you want to check that out, I will link it in the description below. But today, today we're going to take it to the next level. We are going to make even better, higher quality, more beautiful looking mock-ups. And we are going to do that by using PSD files. And if you aren't familiar with PSD files, PSD stands for Photoshop document, meaning typically you need Photoshop in order to be able to use the file. But have no fear because I am going to show you how to do it for absolutely free where you don't even need Photoshop. But a quick disclaimer, you will need to buy your actual mock-up PSD files, which you can find on Etsy for a very good price, usually just a couple bucks each. And if you feel like you are not in a place to spend any money on your shop yet, that is totally fine. You can still create them for absolutely free right in Canva. And you can still create great mock-up photos this way. I scaled my shop to over 4K per month using solely Canva mockups that I created for free. But when you are ready to take it to the next level, I think this is a great place to start investing in your shop. Because like I said, mockup photos are everything. And the reason being is because you want to create a vibe for the customer. You want to be able to help them feel what this product is going to be like when they use it in their real life. Like think about if you were to be shopping for a rug online and you see a photo of just the rug itself versus if you see it in a beautifully curated living room that brings your living room vision to life. Which photo would be more likely to sell you? Probably the second one. So let's create some vibes today and create some beautiful looking mock-up photos. I wish I had this information sooner because I thought that you needed Photoshop to be able to use PSD files. And so I was like, I don't want to learn an entire new platform and pay for that platform when like, I don't even know if this Etsy shop thing is going to work out yet or like how long it's going to take to get it off the ground. And I'll just like do it later. And so once my shop did get off the ground, I was like, okay, now might be a good time where it would be worth it to pay for Photoshop. And so I did. I paid for Photoshop. I started creating my mockups using PSD files. I was like, this is great. This is so worth it. But then I learned that you could do it for free and you didn't need Photoshop. So I canceled Photoshop. So learn from my mistakes. Don't pay for Photoshop. I feel like that's kind of what this channel is all about. I learn things sometimes the hard way and then I share them with you. That way you can have an easier experience. And by the way, if you are new here, hey, I'm Erica. I started my Etsy shop in January of this year and I sell digital products. So I don't actually have to worry about any kind of shipping or inventory or anything thing like that. And more specifically, I sell Canva templates in the party printables category. So think things like invites, banners, signs, really any kind of printable party decor. And I document my own personal journey as well as tips and tutorials here on YouTube. And I do it in a very like no BS realistic kind of way. So if you think that could be helpful for you, make sure to check out my other videos and also subscribe so that you don't miss future ones. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen and walk you through the entire process. Okay, so I am here in Etsy. And first, I just want to kind of show you what I'm talking about when I say PSD file. So if I were to type in wedding welcome sign, I can tell you just by looking at these photos, which ones are PSD files and which ones aren't. Honestly, a lot of wedding ones will just automatically be PSD files because wedding type things often require very high quality images and things like that because people pay a pretty penny for wedding related things. So uh, I can tell right off the bat, this one right here is a PSD file because notice how this welcome sign is kind of turned to the side. If you were creating this in Canva, you wouldn't really be able to turn it to the side without it looking kind of morphed. Canva does have some tools that can allow you to do this, but oftentimes it takes a long time to do it. It can be very time consuming. And then also it can just look a little wonky. So I can tell right now, this one is a PSD file right here. This one as well, because it has these beautiful shadows going over it. You can create shadows in Canva too, but I would say this one's probably a PSD file. Anything that is like tilted to the side is generally going to be a PSD file, like this one right here. Um, versus something that could be more easily created in Canva but doesn't look quite as realistic might be something like this. So notice how this one kind of just looks like it is um, like a just a screenshot of the photo or of the design and then just kind of laid onto the welcome sign uh, 
whatever this is, easel right here. Um, notice it is still a bestseller. So again, you don't need to do this, but I do think it can help elevate your designs if you do use these extremely realistic looking PSD files. So I will give you another example and I will type in, um, let's see, I'm going to type in bunting banner mock-up. So we'll actually look for a mock-up now. So what I would do is I would type in the name of the product followed by mock-up and then PSD at the end. And so these are all going to be Bunting Manor mock-ups. So notice this one right here, again, how it's like kind of tilted to the side and it goes back here. So you could not create this yourself in Canva. If I go down to one of the examples, let's see. So notice how like all of these look like they're actually hanging on this banner. Like they're actually tilted to the side. It doesn't look wonky. It looks like it is actually hanging on this banner. That is going to be the benefit of PSD files. So now let's go ahead and do this ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and buy a PSD file. Um, I'm going to look up a welcome sign. Welcome sign mock-up PSD. So we are going to find one and we will use the welcome sign that we created in my welcome sign tutorial video in it. So this one right here, right off the bat, the very first one looks great. I like that it's kind of tilted to the side. It looks like it probably is meant more for like a wedding one because you can see these long tables in the background, but really you could use that for like wedding, baby shower, whatever it is. Um, so these are all going to be great options here. I'm just going to go ahead and buy this. Let's see. We'll go ahead and buy this one here. And I'm just going to double check on the sizing. So hopefully it says the sizing in the description. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when Etsy listings don't have these sizing specifications. Um, okay, so it says 18 by 24 inches and I do have an 18 by 24 inch file. So that is perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and purchase this. Okay, great. So I just went ahead and purchased this. I'm going to go ahead and download the file now. And it has a download PDF. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And then it says click below this right here. It's under a Google Drive and it is going to come with two different file types. A lot of time they'll give you a JPG and a PSD file, but we want the PSD file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the three dots right here and click download. And now this is downloaded to my computer and it is ready for us to use. So the website you are going to use to be able to utilize this mock-up for absolutely free is called Photo. P, Photopia. I still don't know how it's pronounced. Um, it's one of the two, but I just think of it like P, like peas in a pod. So that's how I say it. Photo P. That's what we're going with. Um, so you don't have to download any special software to your computer. It is completely free. It has some ads to the side. That's like the only disadvantage. But honestly, this is like a gold mine. And I am so frustrated <laughs> that I didn't figure this out before because like on PSD file mock-up photos on Etsy, it will literally say like you can use this for free in Photo P. So that's my own bad. Um, but don't let that be you. So what we are going to do, so this is just the home screen of Photo P, is we are going to click open from computer and we're going to open the file that we just saved of the PSD file. Okay, so we have the file open. So what we are going to do now is we have all of the layers over here on the right hand side. So a PSD file, the reason it is called a PSD file or the reason it's meant for Photoshop is because it is divided into these different layers, which kind of allows uh, the creator of these mockups to be able to like have them tilted to the side or have flowers over the top, kind of like right here or the shadow right here. Um, so on the side, it will usually specify which one you want to click on to insert your design. So I don't want to mess with anything else on here. So like this says, do not delete. These are the leaves. Uh, we only want to mess with the one that says your design here. And you're just going to go ahead and double click on that. From there, this is where you're going to place your design. So like I said, we are going to utilize the welcome sign that we created in my welcome sign tutorial video. Okay, now we are just going to go ahead and click file in the upper left hand corner here. And then we are going to click open and place and it's going to pull up all of your downloads on your computer. And you're just going to select the file that you want or the design that you want. And it will just go ahead and place it directly on here. Sometimes when they're put on here, they might be put on here smaller, like in the center like this or something, just depending on how the mock-up creator created this file. So if that was the case, you would just want to go ahead and expand it throughout the whole thing and notice if it's perfectly because it was meant for an 18 by 24 inch design. And that is exactly what this design is. After that, you're going to go ahead and click the check mark right here. And then you want to go to file and then you want to click save smart object. So this area right here is considered the smart object. So you're just going to go ahead and click that. And then you are going to go up to the tab up here. 
this is going a little slow for me right now. Usually it's not like that. Um, you're going to go up to the tab right here and click on this and it is going to show the design displayed on the mock-up very beautifully, exactly as it should be with all of these shadows in place. It is tilted to the side. You didn't have to do anything special to get that done. It just does it automatically for you. This literally couldn't be easier and it it is just amazing. I'm just obsessed with PSD files now. So then to download this to your computer so you can utilize it in your Etsy mockups, you're just going to go ahead and go to file and then export as and click PNG. This part always kind of takes a second to load right here, but just let it load. And after it loads up, you will just click save and that saves it to your computer. So you can then use it in your Etsy listing photos. And that is exactly how you use your PSD files. I'm gonna show you one quick example of what sometimes PSD files come as that can be a little confusing. And it kind of got me the first time that I saw it. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you an example of that real quick. Okay, so I just opened a PSD file that has the example that I was talking about. And so notice how it's just white, it's just blank. This isn't the smart object where I upload the design. This is the actual PSD file and it's just showing up as being blank or white or whatever it is. Um, sometimes it'll just have like an opaque layer over it and it says like delete this layer. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to delete this layer. It even says it over on the right side right here. So if I just click on this and click delete, there you go. They just put like a white layer over the top because it helps compress the file size from my understanding of what sellers have told me. And so all you have to do is just go in and delete it and then it is ready for you to use. So where it says your design here, notice how this one has like four different designs that you would input. I would then just click this and it would have all the different designs where I would just double click on this and I could input my designs in each one. All right, you guys, and that sums up today's PSD file tutorial. I know that was a super quick and easy one, but I think it is just an invaluable tool to have in your back pocket. I just love putting my designs into PSD files and like seeing them come to life and look so beautiful. It makes my heart so happy. So photo P, photo Pia, whatever your name is, I love ya. We're besties now, besties for the resty. And I hope everyone watching can now utilize this tool to really upgrade your mock-up photos when you do feel like you are to a place when you can spend a couple bucks to pay for them. And remember, you can use your mock-up files over and over and over again if you are creating a lot of products that are the same product type. So you can really get your bang for your buck out of the couple bucks that you do pay for each of your mock-up files. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!